Hey friends, Kitty, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my finale for my project pay my use up 18 in 2018. I'm super excited to be bringing you this video today because like we've hit a year. This is my first year doing a project pan, but I did do a pan that palette the year before and tomorrow's video will be my pan that palette video, my finale for my pan that palette of this year. So be sure to stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on that. But yeah, I have my use up 18 in 2018. So I have all the products that that used up and all the ones that are still left and everything I believe I used up 15 out of 18 products of the year which I'll get into in this video so yeah if you missed any of my former updates I will link those all up in the cards for you and also down below and I'll also link my other pan the palettes projects down below if you want to check those out and everything so yeah let's I'm just ready to get right into it and talk about everything I used up I'm really proud and I'm just ready to you know talk about it okay so I'm first going to talk about everything Everything I hit pan on for this year and everything and yes some of the things I had in the intro video are not like did not stay throughout the videos like they didn't like stay in my panning progress I guess we could call it like some of them I just didn't keep in the project because I felt they were too hard to pan so I ended up taking a few things out and replacing them which I'm not gonna talk about in this video because honestly I can't even remember what I re replaced for what I know I took out a few liquid lipsticks and stuff like that so I won't be talking about that in this video but if you check out the other videos you'll find that out in those so there you go okay so I'm first talking about everything that I panned and used up everything I'm not gonna go wicked in depth with this I'm just gonna talk about it and stuff like that and yes it's not gonna go with wicked in depth because I did talk about that in former updates so check those out because you don't want to miss that okay so the first thing that I used up is the elf hydrating primer I was really excited to use this up when I put it in the project because it's like a silicone primer and that's not personally my favorite this one also didn't take me too long to use. This is my go-to primer on Actane. It's one I tried. I was like, hmm, I need a hydrating primer for Actane. And this is the one that I picked out. And by the way, I was on Actane last year, by the way. So I'll link those videos if you're curious. So yes, I hit pan on this. And these are things you're going to be seeing in empties videos. I'm just going to talk about them in here. So yes, I use this up and I'll just, based on like purposes of maybe you're curious, if I would be interested in having this again. Personally, no. It was a silicone primer. It wasn't my favorite but it was nice to use and put in the project because I wanted to use it up and get out because I had way too many primers. At the moment, I'm getting to that point again. The next, I used up a ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter. This one was in Lunch Money. Obviously, you can't tell, but I completely panned it. That's what you can tell from that. And I honestly just bought a new ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlight, so, I, so I'm so i using that again, but I'm not like, it's not my goal to buy another one and pan it right away. I just wanted to get this one out of my collection because I liked this but I just wanted to like panic because I was kind of over it if you know what I mean so I used that up the next I used up the benefit double the lip this is just something I never got use out of and this I completely panned like literally you could stick a brush in there but I'm not gonna do that personally and stuff but yeah this is nice to use and use up I think this took me a few months as well to pan up I also panned the covergirl oh sugar I panned this before they way before they were cruelty cruelty free so now they're cruelty free but I used that completely up because at the time I thought they weren't cruelty free so I was trying to get a head start on getting rid of my non-cruelty free makeup so I used that up right up to the bone <laughs> seriously I also panned the Maybelline master strobing liquid completely cut it open used it squeezed this this is what I mixed with my primer for the probably the first six months I'd say I don't remember the timeline but I panned that I also panned a foundation I loved with my oily skin and I pan the Rimmel Stay Matte and this is something I mix with dewy things because this does not work on my skin, my dry skin. No, 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 no. So yes, the Rimmel Stay Matte. Yes, use that up, cut it open. I used that up, did I? I panned it. Also panned the Gimme Brow. This is, I think, I don't know. I panned this and yes, I really like this at a point, but now I'm more into my Essence Make Me Brow. I think it's a lot better than the Gimme Brow and I panned this just because I wanted to get out of my collection and stuff and I had it for a very long time so it was time to get out of my collection so I panned that and it's also dried up too I also panned the milk makeup and I would repurchase this by the way this is the highlighter and lit I really like this I love how creamy it is honestly I'm still getting product off of it but it's like barely anything like it honestly is losing its glow but it kind of looks like that but I panned that pretty much all the way up yes and yes I would repurchase that I love the highlight it's one of the best 
cream highlights in my opinion. Also panned up the Posey Balm from Benefit. I used up, I think, Lolly Balm as well. I don't know if I panned that year before, just like in my own world. I don't know how to explain that, like just on my own I panned that, but I wanted to use this one up. It wasn't my favorite. My favorite was Beta Balm and stuff, but yes, love that. I got these in a set, I believe 2014 maybe, before YouTube, yes. Then I also panned the Baby Lips and I find these are hard to find. So this is like one of the Dr. Rescue ones and stuff is just clear. I think it's in Cool Mint or something like that. Panned that up. Panned up completely, so proud of this. The Concept Blush and everything. I use this, you might have known in videos, I use this blush exclusively probably for the first six months of this of these videos maybe even to summer oh i remember how much i used this yes completely panned so proud and i broke it too yay then i used up the tardis lip paint and I actually have another one of these this is in birthday suit completely scraped the sides and everything yes and then I recently panned the re revealed smoky this is like the duo I checked the second shade out because it was super unwearable but this is what this shade looks like I mean it's kind of around the edges slightly but like hardly but yeah I panned that and I was super proud happy to get this out of my collection because I liked this but I just was kind of over it and panning shadows when you're doing a palette palette is also kind of difficult so yeah and then two more things in here i have the roller lash mascara i used this for probably like six months and i panned that it dried out and then i also panned the clinique this is like the black cherry lip balm and everything and i liked this and actually i think i'm gonna put clinique products in my project for next year's project and stuff but we have a few more things to go through and then i'll mention that at the end of the video but that's everything that i kept in this little bag and that i panned that's everything and stuff okay so now onto the things that i didn't pan but i definitely made progress with and i'm gonna try and have pictures of my progress throughout but i was really bad so i might have to just insert screenshots if i have good screenshots if not you could just take my word for it and i'll be better next year i promise okay so what I'm wearing today is this. I'm wearing the Maybelline Color Whisper and Petal Rebel and everything. I believe my progress for this has been kind of just like, eh, all right. It's it's like it here and I think it was a little bit slightly above. Honestly, this is probably gonna be one of my products for my rolling pan of next year. I'm not gonna be doing a use of 19 to 2019. I'm not gonna be doing that and everything. So yeah, the, the progress on this is very slight, but I think I did make a good amount of progress and I'll put this in my project for next year. I think my problem was is I had several lip products in this project and it was just way too much I think next year I will be only doing like probably two lip products if anything at most if maybe even just one I think I just put way too many lip products in my project which is what made it very difficult and then this one I think I hit maybe the slightest use of this one I think there's still a lot left so I really didn't make much progress on this one but I definitely I don't know if I'm gonna put this back in my collection or what I'm gonna do with this but definitely want to use this up but I might put this like on back because I want to use like a lot of like non cruelty products for my project pan for next year but we'll see on that and stuff like that I'm trying to go cruelty free it's been a progress it's been a lot and then the last thing I, uh, I didn't really hit much pan on but I used as much as I could and I think this is gonna go back in my collection I don't think I'm going to put this also in the project for next year this is not not cruelty free and bare minerals and by beauty are cruelty free so i think this one's gonna go back in my collection but i think i made like a teeny tiny bit of progress on this so i guess it's like effort and stuff but yeah definitely didn't hit like major progress on this product but i do really like it and i definitely i don't know i want to use this up eventually because it's not really a color i use up much but these bite lipsticks the minis the ones i do use all the time even like are hard to pan for me like it's just like not an easy product to pan like I don't even know how to like explain it like these literally have so much product a little goes a long way literally Ugh, oh my god but yeah I have three products left over so 15 out of 18 products used in 2018 I think that is definitely amazing progress I'm really proud of the things I did pan like seriously I panned so much like you saw like so much was panned it's not like this whole project like 
like went to waste. I panned a lot, like that's impressive. And this is my first project pan. So I like to give a lot of credit to myself. Okay, so for the next series, which I'm gonna try and upload my video for that, I'm thinking like next week sometime, um, I'm probably gonna have a favorites video go up on the first. The second will probably be my pan the palette. And then I will do another favorites video. And then I will do my project pan. I might switch the pan to palette with a project pan, but I'm not really sure on that. So yeah, I don't want my projects like they are today and tomorrow going up back to back. I kind of want a little bit of spacing in between it, if you know what I mean. Like that's kind of what I want. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions based on like products that I do have in my collection, let me know down below that I should pan. I have a couple ideas. I think I'm gonna do, I'm definitely doing a rolling pan because I like the idea of once I use something up, I can add something else back in this collection. I'm hoping to get that number up to 19. I just don't want to do use up 19 in 2019 because I kind of want to do the rolling pen thing and try that out and stuff instead of doing like 19 products because that is a lot and I did make amazing progress this year but I think a rolling pen would be interesting and I've seen a lot of videos like that and I liked the idea of it. So yeah that's gonna be it for all the products that I did up using in 2018. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what products you used up this year. I would love to hear about it and everything and that kind of stuff. And yeah please subscribe if you haven't already. I will be posting another video tomorrow on my pal and the palette progress. So be sure and if I'm wearing the same outfit don't be alarmed. I'm just filming it all on the same day and I don't feel like changing. So yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified. I'm be uploading probably almost every day this coming week. So be sure to stick out for that. And I hope you have a good rest of the year and a happy new year. I just want to mention that before I go, have a great new year. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow for my pen that palette video. Bye.